Hi guys, it's Roy Fugler, training officer at Mixer J, and today we're going to go through commissioning one of our cylinders using the Mixer J installer enterprise app. So first of all, we need to uh, download the app. So you go onto an app store, um, and you can either download it onto um, an Android phone or an Apple phone. And then to access the app, we just tap the top button, and then we've got a number of options. We want to add a tank, so we're going to add tank, and then it's asking us for the mix device code. Now that isn't the MX number. It's the number below, which has more digits in. If you put the MX number on, it won't recognize it. The easiest way to do it is to tap the little camera icon and then scan that barcode. So before we actually scan the QR code or put the uh, mix device code in there, we need to make sure that we've got a Wi-Fi connection. So the little blue uh, Wi-Fi connected uh, LED is illuminated. Once we've done that, we can then scan the QR code and then add tank. And we'll get a green message comes up tank added successfully. Once that's happened, we can go to my tanks and we'll find the MX number in there. And this is the only tank that I've got installed. So I just touch the number and then it will give me some options. So at the moment, hot water temperature is 40 degrees, hot water level is 9% and the heating status is boosting um, up to 40%. And we can tell us then when it did it. So the 10th of April, which is today, and it's about five to one. So the other information I can get is checking what the heat source is. Now in this case, um, it's solar PV. However, um, so we'd set it on electric. However, if we're on indirect, so a gas boiler, an oil boiler, we'd set that to indirect. And then it comes up heat source updated. So it will tell us that we've updated the heat source. So there has been a little bit of confusion when the customer's using both a heat pump with solar or a boiler with solar because some installers out there have been put in electric. You put the other source, you put either heat pump or boiler. So if we're gonna to go to heat pump, we touch heat pump. And again, we'll get the message heat source has been updated. So what you can do in this case, you can push the boost button to check that everything is wired up correctly. Everything's set up. So if we go back to indirect and we hit the boost button, what should happen when we hit the boost button, we can boost it, let's say 50%. So it's now saying boosting. We can then check not only the gauge um, goes to 50% boosting, but we'd also check that the two part valve on the heating uh, on the hot water side opens up. Once we're happy with that, we can then um, change that to electric just to check the immersion heater. So if it was an indirect boiler, we might want to check the immersion heater for backup in case the boiler plays up. And in that case, we can push boost. And then we can change that to, let's say, 60%. And that's telling us that it's boosting. Once we're happy that we've checked that, again, we can check the gauge, we can check the immersion heater comes on. We can then finally put it to what the customer is going to be using. So in this case, we're going to put indirect and again, it's changed that heat source. So we're happy that that's set up. The next thing we can do is ignore timer control cable. So we, we don't want the timer control cable, um, if it's connected, having anything to do with it. The timer control cable will interfere with the mixergy controller and stop it being intelligent. So generally speaking, we don't wire that in there. It's for older systems where perhaps local authorities want to use a, a twin channel programmer. But at Mixergy we say, 
disregard that. We have the wires in there, we just leave them uh, not connected um, at the wiring centre. There's no voltage on them, so they can be tucked away. And that way it won't interfere with the mixergy control and the intelligent learning of it. So we always make sure that we're not having um, a timer control on there. We can look at settings. The only thing that we can adjust on the installer app is the target temperature. So we can adjust it anywhere from 50 up to 65. The customer, once they get their customer app set up, they can set that up to whatever their comfort level is. Personally, I'd be setting it round about 56, 57 degrees. So again, the setting's been updated. The next thing that we can do is put in the, um, the postcode and the address where we've installed the, um, the cylinder. So we've got a record at Mixergy where this cylinder's been installed, so for things like warranty. And the last thing we're going to do is fill the commissioning checklist in. So we've got final checks. The cylinder has been filled with water correctly wired and a 16 amp fuse spur powered on. Um, we generally say it's 16 amp MCB with a 20 amp double pole isolating switch. So yeah, we've got that, so we can tick that one. The function of the system included indirect wiring has been tested. So if we're checking um, the heat pump or we're checking the boiler and we're checking the immersion heater, we can check those and we can say, yep, yeah, we've done that. The cylinder has been connected to the internet and the consumer has been registered online. So the cylinder obviously is connected to the internet and then the consumer's got their app and we've talked through that with the consumer. Cylinder controls have been demonstrated, so that's part of the demonstration and the handover. So yep, we've done that. The manufacturer's literature has been explained and left with the customer, so we can tick that one. And then commissioning completed. So we tick that one and then finish commissioning commissioning completed so then now that will end up in my completed tanks box so any that I've completed it'll be in there and then obviously it's looking for the address the other thing that I can do is put notes in there so I can put a note in there is it an unvented is it vented just as a reminder to myself when I fitted a few cylinders what what I've actually done with that particular job so that's the only thing I can do with that one so I can go back quite useful help documents. So in here we've got installation and servicing guides, heat pump kit installation. So all the different install, installation guides and the user guides. And we're gonna keep those updated so you guys will have access to those through the app. The other thing that we've got is video guides. Obviously I'm doing a video guide today that will eventually end up on here. So we've got video, um, so Mixergy install a training video. So we've got some videos on here. So we've got a video there that's playing with some training. Um, how to use the Mixer G app, connecting the Mixer G tanks to the internet. So we did have an internet issue. We can go on that one. And then there's my colleague, Ben, who's our technical manager. He'll go through connections and how to uh, check connectivity and we're going to be adding videos to this as, as we go through and then we've got stats that tells me how many cylinders have actually fitted so today there's just this one so if I fit at several that'll have the information in right so that's the Mixergy installer hat hopefully you found this uh, video useful I look forward to doing more videos in the future keep your eyes out for those um, so it's been Roy Fugle at the Mixer GHQ. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye until next time.